Your skin is screaming for your help. Whether it's an early warning sign of prediabetes, insulin resistance, or an indication of poorly controlled diabetes, your skin can often be one of the first indicators that something is wrong in the body. Today, we're gonna to go over some common skin conditions found in both prediabetes and diabetes. So stay tuned as we discuss 10 common skin conditions that you do not want to ignore. Starting with number 10, have you noticed dry and itchy skin? While this may seem like a common and fairly harmless condition, it's a warning sign that should not be overlooked. The blood sugar is running high, the body starts pulling fluid from the surrounding cells. And then by doing so, it can cause the skin to become extremely dry and itchy. Itchy skin can also be a warning sign of poor circulation, which is more common in diabetics, or a warning sign for diabetic neuropathy, a condition that develops when diabetes leads to nerve damage. All important reasons why frequent itchy or dry skin should not be ignored. Number nine. Have you noticed thick and waxy skin on your fingers and your toes? This condition is known as digital sclerosis, and it causes the skin on the hands, fingers, and toes to become hardened and tight, losing their normal elasticity. And this can result in a waxy and shiny appearance of the skin. As this condition progresses, the joints can become stiff and difficult to move, making simple tasks like buttoning a shirt challenging to perform. While the exact cause of digital sclerosis is not completely clear, it is believed to be associated with long-term exposure to elevated blood sugar levels. And it's more commonly seen in diabetics who have had the disease for many years. While treatment options are limited and you should talk to your healthcare provider for all of the available options, improvement in blood sugar levels appears to possibly prevent worsening of this condition. Number eight, have you noticed dark or thickened skin in the back of the neck, the armpits, groin, or other areas of the body? This can be one of the earliest warning signs of insulin resistance and diabetes. Number eight is a condition known as acanthosis nigricans. This condition causes dark and thickened skin. This condition is most commonly going to be found in the folds and the creases of the body. So areas like the armpits, groin, and neck are all common areas to see this occur. And while the condition itself generally does not cause any symptoms and it's not contagious, it's your body's way of signaling to you, screaming if you will, that something is going on inside of the body that needs your attention, particularly insulin resistance, as well as a number of other potential causes all of which warrant a visit to your healthcare provider for a proper evaluation. Number seven, this next condition is one of the most common seen in diabetics. It occurs in as many as half of all diabetic patients, but it also happens to be one of the most commonly misdiagnosed as it's often confused for just age spots. These light brown, red, or scaly patches, which are most common on the front of the lower legs, which is sometimes why they're referred to as shin spots, but the official title is something known as diabetic dermopathy. This condition generally doesn't cause any pain or itching, and in most cases, doesn't require any treatment, but what's extremely important is that it can be a warning sign for more serious nerve and eye problems associated with diabetes, as this condition is most commonly seen in diabetics with microvascular complications. Microvascular complications, which is damage to small blood vessels, as we see in such conditions such as neuropathy, which is nerve damage, and retinopathy, which is damage to the blood vessels in the back of the eyes. So if you notice these spots, please make sure you talk Talk to your healthcare provider to ensure you don't have one of these underlying complications. Number six, diabetic blisters. These can occur anywhere in the body, but they're most common on the feet, lower legs, hands, and forearms. These blisters are different than the type you'll get after a burn, for instance, as there generally won't be any pain. The skin surrounding the blisters will generally be normal, no redness or inflammation. Usually the blisters will heal spontaneously over the span of a few weeks. This type of skin condition is usually seen in diabetics who've had the disease for a number of years, but in some cases, it may be one of the first signs of diabetes. Number five, have you noticed small yellowish red bumps that almost look like small pimples on the elbows, knees, and buttocks? These small bumps can be itchy or tender and are officially titled eruptive xanthomatosis or eruptive xanthomas, another complicated name, but all these are are small deposits of fat and other inflammatory cells underneath the skin. And the bumps themselves are generally harmless, they're not contagious. So why are these something that you should be concerned about? Well, they can be one of the earliest warning signs of uncontrolled diabetes, and they're also associated with extremely high cholesterol levels. 
So if you notice these bumps on your skin, make sure not to ignore this important sign and speak to your healthcare provider as soon as possible. Number four, skin infections. So anybody can get a skin infection, diabetic or not. But I'm sure as most of us know, diabetics are more prone to getting these types of infections, especially if their diabetes is not well managed. And this is due to a number of factors, including weakened immune system, impaired blood flow to the skin, as well as dry skin, which can lead to cracking of the skin, allowing bacteria a source of entry into the body. So if you're noticing frequent skin infections or cuts or sores on the skin that are taking a long time to heal, make sure to get the proper evaluation and treatment. Number three, this next skin condition is one of the most serious that we'll go over today and one that you absolutely have to be aware of. Number three is diabetic foot ulcers. Approximately 25% of hospitalizations in diabetic patients is due to diabetic foot ulcers and two thirds of all non-traumatic amputations here in the US are due to diabetic foot ulcers. Poor circulation, nerve damage, elevated blood sugars, all seen in individuals with poorly controlled diabetes, significantly elevate the risk of getting these type of ulcers. Even a minor scratch or scrape of the foot can potentially lead to the formation of a diabetic foot ulcer in patients with these risk factors. That's why preventative care is so important in addition to improving your blood sugar levels. So you'll want to make sure to avoid poor fitting shoes, make sure you're not walking barefoot even at home, and make sure to check your feet daily. If you notice any blisters, redness, sores, or other painful areas, make sure to get proper treatment as soon as you possibly can. Before we get to the final, very surprising skin condition seen in diabetics, let's first talk about something known as necrobiasis lipoidica. This rare but very important skin condition will often start as small red raised patches of skin, commonly on the lower legs. These areas will slowly grow larger, turn yellowish brown in color, and in some cases start to form cracks or openings in the skin, which can lead to ulcerations in these areas. This skin condition can often be painful and itchy, and most importantly, this condition is commonly associated with diabetes. Number one, this last skin condition is quite common, and many people have experienced at least one of these in their lifetime. But what many people don't realize is that this skin condition can be a sign of insulin resistance and diabetes. Skin tags are small clusters of skin extending out from a tiny stem, and these non-cancerous growths are generally found in areas of high friction on the body. So areas like the armpit, neck, and groin are all common. And while skin tags are generally harmless, and in most cases do not require any treatment unless they become irritating or for cosmetic reasons, it is important to note that skin tags are more commonly seen in diabetics, especially in those who get them frequently they can be an early warning sign of insulin resistance. So yet another common skin condition to be on the lookout for. If you are concerned you may have any of the conditions we went over, please reach out to your local healthcare provider for proper diagnosis and treatment.